Well, everyone, just like every single year, I went ahead and installed the latest version of the macOS beta on the oldest device that's actually supported. And this specific device is the 2015 MacBook Pro. Now, this update actually got unsupported on a ton of MacBooks, and I don't know why Apple did this. It's very, very annoying. But luckily, I do have a 2015 MacBook Pro, which many people have stated is one of the best MacBooks out there. And I agree, this is a very solid device. I love it a lot and with this latest software before i get too deep in this before i talk about it for 30 minutes i'm going to tell you do not install this mac os beta it is not worth it in my experience and many other people's experience the mac os beta seem to be the most buggy glitchy betas that apple ever releases including ios ipad os watch os tv os mac os is always the one especially for me i used to do this on my main device i completely stopped doing it that's why I have these other devices I can go and install it in. And again, I would not recommend you to install this no matter what anybody says. People can say it's the best thing ever. Do not install it. But I will tell you with that being said, the Mac OS 12, the Monterey update on the 2015 MacBook Pro is actually not that bad. It's definitely not as bad as I thought. Now installing it, you know, you install the profile, all that stuff. The installation took about 30 minutes and it kind of freaked me out because the MacBook kept restarting, but I forgot that's how these MacBooks kind of, you know, update. It just takes a little bit of time. And it really wasn't that bad of an experience. It did overheat like crazy and the fans ramped up a lot, but once it restarted, it was totally good. And you know, it eventually had the beta on it. So the installation process took about 30 minutes to about 45 minutes. So definitely not that long of time. It was about 16 gigabytes bytes of a file so make sure you have that much storage saved on your device now uh, moving on you know obviously we have all these features built in with mac os 12 and i'll go ahead and hit on a lot of them some of these may not be supported on the 2015 macbook but you do have things like spatial audio within facetime which is not supported on i don't think on the 2015 macbook you have different microphone modes which is actually really cool you have grid view mode on facetime so for group facetimes and those things you do have that and for the macbooks that do have the m1 chip you do have portrait mode within facetime time you know obviously this one does not have you know portrait mode there have been some update to iMessage which is really cool Safari got a massive update and it does look better I think and uh, even on this 2015 MacBook it does look pretty cool I will tell you it is a little bit of a learning curve and there are still some glitches as you guys can probably see with the video it's not as smooth I think as you know the Mac OS Big Sur but I think I was rocking macOS Catalina on this before I updated it, and it was perfectly fine. I do have macOS Mojave on another one, and I do have macOS Catalina on my other MacBooks, and I do have macOS Big Sur on some other MacBooks and iMacs, and overall, I think they do a pretty good job. But this macOS 12 update is actually much smoother than I thought. Now you do have focus mode, which is another cool thing. It allows you to help focus on certain things that you're working on, you know, which is awesome. I guess I'm never going to use it, but you have it here. You have quick notes, which is really cool. And you also have universal control. Now, I don't think this MacBook supports it. I don't have any other devices I can test this on, but I am going to try it. I think it's a really cool thing and I cannot wait to do this on any of my main devices. Now that essentially covers up a majority of the main things I wanted to hit on. Now I will tell you the overall experience has been pretty solid as I mentioned. A lot of these features you can use on your macOS 12 on you know the oldest MacBook so I think that's great. Another good thing I saw that I usually see on most betas is that as you use this MacBook the fans ramp up you know especially on the oldest one. I think last year was the 2013 MacBook Pro that you were able to use on macOS Big Sur and that thing you know the fans ramped up like crazy all the time. On this MacBook I don't really get that yet. I think if I'm you know when I play like a bigger thing or whatever you know then it starts to rev up a bunch of applications open that kind of ends up being the case but so far it's actually been pretty solid and I actually do like that a lot. So that's another pretty big plus point for this specific MacBook. On top of that, and nothing has really been broken for me. You know, it still completely works. Of course, there's glitches like you guys saw over the display and everything, but it's really not that bad of an experience. I genuinely thought it was going to be a much worse experience than it was, and that wasn't really the case. It's pretty predictable. Of course, it's not going to be the fastest thing ever. It's the oldest MacBook. It's, you know, turning six years old this year. But I do think, you know, for Mac OS 12, when it officially comes out, I think it's going to be in a pretty good spot. You know, I think when it officially comes out, if this is how the oldest MacBook supports it, I'm curious to see how, like, the M1 MacBooks, you know, 
support it. I do have an M1 MacBook Pro I use as my main device, and I love it. You know, it does glitch on me a little bit, but if this is how the oldest MacBook runs on macOS 12, I am pretty excited to see how my M1 MacBook Pro actually, you know, runs on this specific software. So take it as you will, but that's essentially it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly, with everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.